Oh yeah, how are you doing? Wednesday night, and for once, for, for the first time in two weeks, I'm getting a midweek shave done. Yay, I'm actually at home. So, gear for tonight. Brush, I've got it dumped in the sink at the moment. Yaki, 26mm rainbow handle, synthetic knot. That's the brush, the blade on the saw, or the razor even. Mm -hmm. The razor I've got in a slant tonight, and yes, that is the slant on the head. It's an Icon 102, which is on a bamboo handle. And then there we've got the Pole Silver Super Iridium on its second use. And the saw for tonight. English, Phoenix and Bow, Coda, which is basically their take on a very deep, dark, heavy fougere. <coughs> Stunning artwork that uh, Curie and Sarah do from uh, Phoenix and Bow. If you haven't used Phoenix and Bow before, I shall spin it around. The ingredients are there. You want to pause it and have a look. It's, uh, it's not a hard soap. It's, you can see it's still it's a bit of give to it. But yeah, lovely scent. Really nice. I'd say quite a heavy fougere. So just no ball weathering tonight. Just straight into the puck and get a good load on here, water on the face, and crack on and go and get some tea. So, the northeast of Scotland this week has been quite cold, not as cold as some places, especially in the States. We've had no snow because we're about 200 yards from the coast in the North Sea. I suppose it's better than last week when I was 160 miles in the North Sea. But uh, yeah, well, no, we get very little snow because of the, the sea temperature and the salt air it tends to dissipate quite quickly. But you don't have to buggy your car up fast as well if you don't keep it polished and on top. So yeah, we've had no snow. It's been almost what the old class is a studio typical winter's day for the week. We've, it's been cold and clear, but the same compared to certain parts of the world North America for example with their polar vortex Someone should ask Trump whether or not it's global warming see what he says So that's all the remnants from the soap I know some YouTube shavers would actually shave with that lot We've got a pretty decent load in the brush. Just adding a bit of water. Phoenix and Bow, like most tallow soaps, like a drink. They tend to be thirsty. You could go for a Paul H style shave and have it thick and thick and pasty oh. I'm trying to get something a bit more voluminous so I've got a hole in the middle of the brush which I've just filled with water
when I did a, a bowl like that, a few, I can't remember which one it was. It was one and a half grams of salt I had in a bowl. And to get something that looks like this, it was something like, I think it was five half teaspoons, so two and a half teaspoons of water, one and a half grams of salt. I could keep on going with this, but I'm not going to. There's plenty there, there's plenty there, so. Yeah, the Icon 102, it's, I say, it's just a slant razor that just holds the blade straight at an angle as opposed to a torque slant which bends it and twists it. Uh, there's an alignment mark on this side of the head and it just, say, it just holds the blade at an angle. Mm, okay. I was toying my way to do just a shave of one hand. Then the choice came up left right hand. Mmm, coats come off, can't work that out. But you can see yourself, the lava on the brushes. Quite pasty and quite nice. There's no real difference on the cutting edges, depending on which way around you have the blade. I don't think so anyway. Others will no doubt say that I'm holding it the wrong way around or whatever. So this is, was three days growth. On what is it's not an aggressive razor. I've got the two icon slants, I've got this and I've got the X3, which is sitting down there. And I reach this before the X3. But they're both shaved very similar, but this just feels more comfortable. Don't know why. Plenty of slickness on the soap. Don't 
Oh yeah, for the, what they cost. That bit's synthetic, you don't have to fan you around with it, breaking it in, making sure it's dry. You can just use them and abuse them for whatever better phrase. And for the cost. Anyone starting to shave now will just say, don't bother with natural hair brushes, just go down the synthetic route with the modern synthetics. Yeah, you can get your high end ones like Wolf Whiskers and some of the artisans you see on Instagram. Uh, but in this day and age, the Yaki either on AliExpress or eBay or wherever you buy them from. Bang for book, takes some beating. There's a Really good does what 15 20 quid for a yucky synthetic so you use it abuse it Don't have to worry about pre-soaking the bloody things, you can just come in, pick them up, dunk them and use them. Towel dry it. Pull it away, forget about it. Pick it up a couple of days later or next day, use it again. Mm, I think I'll just cut myself there. We shall see if it turns red. So almost at the end of January. Twelfth the first month of the year gone. One down, eleven to go. The saw called that. It's named from now the Curious area have a great love of. Led Zeppelin and Coda features and I think it's not Led Zeppelin album or a song I'm not sure which which is where the name derives from hence the artwork on the front Limited edition salt. It is still available. If you like a, a nice punchy fougere, I'm still available from one or two retailers in the UK. I don't know about the states. I 
don't know how widely Phoenix and Bo soaps are available in the US. But you know me, I'm in, this, I'm in the UK so I predominantly use predominantly UK soaps. Plenty of slickness, just a mat. That's me done. Still a fair bit of salt left on the brush. So I'm going to have a face wash with this. And then we're back for the post shave. Nice, thick and creamy. So, see you in a minute. Okay, I'm going to wash off with some warm water. I haven't bothered with cold water. And I'm going to go for Mersol Agua Balsamica. This is basically thyme basil. So it's quite fragrant. I'm using that instead of a cold water splash tonight just to. Get a bit of sting going, but not much feedback. But. And on top of that, using rock face moisturiser, all weather moisturiser can come back to the elements. So I've just got some on the fingertip there, and we'll give it a rub for now, for now. Okay, quick recap, razor for today, icon 102 slant, and yes that is the slant on the head, the way it just tilts the blade at an angle, on an icon bamboo handle, so that's the 102. And the blade for today was a super iridium. Pulse Silver Super Iridium, which is out and dried and ready to go off. The brush, Yaki Rainbow Synthetic 26mm. So, the numbers and giveaways at the bottom. 26, yeah, nice and soft and worked very well. The soap, if you like Fougères. This is dark and heavy, nice one, 
from the Nixon Book Coda. It's a stunning artwork on the label. Uh, most Phoenix and Bows do have very good artwork. And we've finished off with Marisol and Rockface. That's it folks, that's my midweek shave done. And weather depending, we're back over the weekend. If I manage to get a whole week at home, it will, it will be quite pleasant and quite nice. But hopefully I'll see you the next year, which will probably be over the weekend. So, any comments, leave them below. Uh, thanks for watching, if you've lasted this long. And uh, bye for now.